so I made a video um, a while ago about how to model um, a laptop and I was trying to explain how I modeled um, the one I modeled when I did it so but you guys didn't like it so guess I'm gonna make another one and this time around I'm gonna show you guys how to make it from scratch so let's get down to business before I go let me not forget that my name is Ajinko Lebe that's what people call me so let's get down to business so the first thing I would do what I did right now is I used my phone and took a picture of uh, my laptop so uh, I'm just gonna go to view and image plane uh, before I do that let me go to top view so because I want to model I want to um, show you guys how to model the keyboard first but before we go on with the other part of the laptop so I'll go to view and image plane import image so I this is it so I have it here I'll just press um, yes so I'll rotate about Y and it's gonna be 90 yeah and press it so that is the keyboard don't mind the quality of my phone I, it was in the dark I shot it in the dark so I'm just gonna go on with um, the keyboard alone and um, we'll go on to with um, the other one later on. So the first thing I'll do is under modeling I'll go to polygons. Actually I'm using 216, Maya 216. So I press uh, create um, the cube and I'll take it to F to zoom in. I hope you guys can see this clearly. If not, I think I just yeah. So bring it down a bit to something like that. Something like that. Yeah. So I'll go to here. Raise it up a bit. Let's miss it clearly. Reduce it. So uh, I'm just going to um, isolate everything so that I can see this and I'll go to um, face mode, select the face and get rid of the face. It's not, um, it's useless since it's um, facing the, the floor. So uh, what I'll do right now is shift right click and insert edge loop to insert one to the extreme end here. And uh, not extreme end but towards the extreme. So I'll make another one here and I'll make another one here and I'll create a one here. So let me press my three. So I think it's cool. That's what I need. So I'll go to object mode and should have it. That should be cool. That should be cool. So um I will de isolate it and I should have it standing on the keyboard. I think that's cool. I can reduce it a bit to like so. Take it down. So um, I'll go to this side. Now, this is where the work is getting on. So, what I'll do here is again, I would. Okay, before I go on, I, there is another thing I can do here. I can create one to the center, to the center like so, and kind of like um, make it big a bit, so like so, and create another one to there, and make it big a bit. Yeah, yeah, I think that's good. Yeah, yeah, I have it. So the next thing now is to duplicate. Now watch this. The first thing I will do for the first duplicate, it's gonna be Control Z, Control Z, and I'll move it to the next button. And the uh, next Control that I'll press is gonna be um, Shift D, and it's gonna duplicate it in respect to the first um, distance to the first duplicate. I don't know if you get what, what I'm saying. I don't even understand what I'm saying. But get it straight. That is exactly what I'm saying. It's um, the shift D. To duplicate this one too. And move it A and um, scale it up. 
like so let's get more yeah so the next thing right now is pick this up duplicate and so the next thing now is to work on the one we have at the top the function button so i would duplicate this by pressing ctrl d again and move it up and scale it to like so so let's see what we've got here yeah so i would duplicate this again but before i go on let me bring it a bit bit more no and do that go to make things perfect so ctrl d and i'll move it to the side Closer, like so, a bit more closer. Yeah. So um, the next thing now is bring this in, select that and duplicate it, move it down. It's so like so, duplicate again, move it. you can readjust everything so that's cool this this two should move over 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 what am I saying I don't even know what I'm saying just don't worry about me guys so um, this guy right here uh, I'm just gonna um, zoom it like so like so yeah so i'll bring this guy also duplicate him and bring him over to this side so i would um scale him up and bring him to like so scale him up a bit yes so let me go to here and think I would go to edge mode, not that guy, this guy, edge mode. Double click on the edge, press move him to this side. I know, I know, I know. Let me press one. So I would um select the work faces here so select this select that and extrude extrude it out oops i didn't select the whole thing so shift select this and this and so select this shifts this and extrude press w so that you can extrude it in perfect way yeah now the next thing now to do is hard um, let's go to this guy and shift and hard this half edge loop too just like the way we did it to the others yeah it's like so so this side to our hard loop today so this side to yeah yeah so um i think i have some issues here it's probably not much issue i just need to print this guy back down um go to I'm gonna go to vertex. Vertex? 
yeah select that guy and you can close like so and select select these three guys and then close action so let's press three again i think you are cool like so yeah you can see it's getting there we're getting there actually so but the next thing now right now is go back to our top view and continue the duplication that we've been doing so i'll select that guy and duplicate I think at this moment we are done. I'm gonna hide this guy. Visibility off. So let's see. I think we have our keyboard perfectly constructed. That is exactly what we need to uh, you know know right now. So I'm saying bye bye right now and we'll come back to the rest and finish it off. So let me select the whole thing and press 3 i think they are in smooth mode already actually so these are the keyboards so i uh, would uh, but before i go let me go to file and create project so i'll go to project window and new uh computer or rather i'm gonna use laptop laptop and accept and save the same i'll go to file save as laptop and that's same I'll, um keyboard keyboard is that keyboard what am i doing keyboard yeah oh one yeah so that is it and we'll come back to the rest bye bye